All right, guys, I am very excited today because I have a brand new 100% free course for those of you that are either artists, bands, or singer-songwriters, okay? This is for those of you that primarily want to focus on building a fan base of your own through social media, through all the different forms of building a fan base. You want to put out music videos, you want to sell your music, you want to get streaming income, you want to tour, you want to sell merchandise, you want to do all that stuff. If that's your primary focus, but you also understand and realize that TV film sync licensing is a very powerful auxiliary secondary outlet for your music, that's who this course is for. Okay, so if you're in that category, you need to watch this video because this information is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. People charge that much money for this kind of information, but you get it 100% free today, okay? So my name is Jesse. If you don't know who I am, I am the owner of Sync My Music, so I've been providing online educational resources for producers that want to focus on sync licensing for the last three or four years of my life. I've been doing music licensing for the last 12 years, though, and partnered with me for this awesome brand new course is Mark Freezer of Sync Summit. Now, Mark Freezer is a sync agent himself, but he's also basically one of the head honchos of the sync agent uh, world. He puts on annual conferences that gathers dozens of sync agents and music supervisors, heavy hitters, big industry players in this business every single year all over the world. So, Mark, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about who you are. All right. So thank you, Jesse. OK, so my two companies are Sync Summit and Disconic, and they're interrelated. What Sync Summit does is it works with um, people all over the world to help to connect the people that make music and create music and the people that work with them, like labels, publishers, and managers, with the people that use music or can facilitate the use of music in things like television shows, films, games, ads, uh, brand campaigns, uh, and apps. And that's basically what the function of Sync Summit is. That's the core of it, to bring these two groups together and to, through keynotes and conversations and networking and showcases and panels, educate people, connect people, and help them to find new ways to do business together in this market. That's the mission of Sync Summit. We do that online and we do that at live events. The mission of Disconic is pretty simple. We're a licensing agent, which uh, we call a sync agency. And basically what we do is we sync up the people that make music and create music and own music along with the people that use music in their projects. And we work with everybody from labels and publishers like BMG to um, individual artists that we have passion for. And that's the mission of our two companies. And in the midst of all of that, one of the things that's really important to me is that we do everything we can to help you to navigate what's a complicated marketplace. So that's really what I think the mission is of what Jesse and I are doing together here. And uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to uh, launch this with you, Jesse. This is why Mark was brought on with this uh, course that I'm putting together with him is because he is the expert. If you could point to one person on planet Earth who knows the world of sync agents and how to really uh, empower and enable artists to get their music placed in the TV shows, movies and commercials, Mark is the guy you want to know. Mark's the guy you want to learn from. OK, so that's why he and I partnered up. And that's why I specifically reached out to him to partner with me on this course, because I want to make sure that you guys are getting an authoritative source of information on that. My world has been primarily focused on music libraries, which is a little bit different kind of approach. But in this course, we're talking really about working with sync agents and why it's going to be very, very important and a smart move for you to partner with a sync agent to shop your music to these various uh, placement opportunities. Now, the course is called Sync Masterclass and it is the musician's guide to breaking through in major media. There's gonna be eight videos and two downloads in this course, all of it. Everything you find in this course, 100% free, okay? There are no upsells, there's no, here's a little bit of the information, but you gotta buy this to get the really good stuff. None of that is in this course, okay? When you sign up and you get into the membership area, you have a complete A to Z for how to succeed with sync licensing. And the best thing, and the reason why Mark and I put this together is because we know that if you're an artist, a band, a singer, a songwriter, you should be spending your time focusing on your craft, on your art, building your fan base, putting out that music video, touring, selling your merchandise. That's where you should be spending 90% of your day focusing on what you do best, which is creating original, beautiful music. 
Sync licensing is a powerful auxiliary secondary source for your music, but you shouldn't be getting lost in the weeds and dedicating months, if not years, in the side of the business. That's why partnering with a sync agent whose full-time job is to shop your music and to find placements for you is a very smart thing to do. Now, with this course, what you're gonna learn is how to do that the smart way. Not to get screwed over by a lot of unethical kind of scammy offers out there, which there are tons in the licensing business. Mark and I unfortunately know those all too well. Um, but we're going to show you how to be smart and how to save a lot of time, money, headaches, and uh, and just heartbreak by, uh, you know, if you didn't know what you were doing in this business, you could really end up in a really terrible position. So we're going to try to protect you from those potentially negative outcomes that you could get and try to steer you on the most profitable path. So right now I'm going to tell you about what, what are the sort of key things you're going to learn with these eight videos in these two downloads, okay? First, you're going to learn just how the overall sync licensing business works, okay? It can be a very confusing and convoluted and just misunderstood segment of the, uh, it's really not even in the music business, but it's associated with the music business because obviously we create music for TV shows, movies, and commercials, but I'm going to give you a 100% easy overview, even a, a third grader could understand how the sync licensing business works. It's actually not complicated. There are various uh, entities and various companies um, and people that are involved and it is a team sport. You're gonna have to work with people to succeed, but it's not rocket science. And once you see this overview from the first video, actually, you'll understand exactly how this industry works, okay? Next, you're gonna learn how to maximize your exposure through the placements that you can get in the sync licensing world. If you're not aware, Dozens and dozens of artists, bands, singer songwriters got their careers bumped. They actually broke because they got a major placement in a very recognizable TV show, trailer, film, uh, video game, you name it. And you probably are aware of many of those bands and songwriters that had that happen to them. So we're going to talk about once you get that placement, what you should do to ensure that that placement doesn't just go to waste and it kind of just seeps into the background of your career. You should be very, very prominent and very visual with that placement to ensure people that liked what they heard on TV can find you very easily. It's a very important thing, right? Now, what you'll also get with this course, and this is what Mark helped bring to the table, is a sync agent directory. So yes, you are going to get with this free course, one of the PDFs, which is a directory of the most legitimate and high profile sync agents that are looking to work with artists, bands, singer songwriters like you. They do accept and will review unsolicited submissions. OK, so you don't have to be somebody's cousin or somebody's, you know, you don't have to be hooked up like you do with major labels. These are agents that are openly looking for really high quality music to work with. Now, they have to decide if you're going to be a good fit for them. They don't just automatically accept you but they are open to submissions. And so you're gonna get contact information for these sync agents. Mark, why don't you talk to us a little bit about how you came up with this list and who these people are that they're gonna get in contact with. Okay, that sounds great. And I also wanna say one thing about um, uh, maximizing your exposure very quickly. Um, a lot of people have made uh, careers um, get boosted by a huge level by the uh, syncs that they've had. But I wanna emphasize, it doesn't need to be you know, you've gotten your uh, music into a Super Bowl commercial. It can be in a, it can be in a uh, show. It can be in a commercial that's streaming. As long as people see it and as long as it gets out there, what you need to do is to make sure you take advantage of that by sharing it, by being aware of what you can do on social media to push that out there. So I just wanted people to know that it's not just those huge things that you see where, you know, some new band blows up and becomes a top 10 hit because they had their music used in the Super Bowl. There's a lot of different opportunities to increase your exposure in every single sync that you get that anybody sees. So I just wanted to say that. Now, in terms of the sync agents the reason that I put this together with Jesse is that I wanted to give you a list of people that you can go out to and you can engage with immediately who are looking for people to partner with, people to work with, and music that they can add to their roster of uh, music that they present to music supervisors. And uh, the people that I've put in this list are people that are going to work with you legitimately. They're not going to ask you to pay them a ton of money up front. They're not going to ask you to give them half of your uh, publishing in order to work with them. They're going to be people who are going to work with you as a traditional agent works with their client, which means they're going to take a percentage of whatever they bring in. And 
what that percentage is and what the details are. Each one is going to be a little different, but these are all people that I know that work with people on a legitimate basis and work with you as a partner rather than a predator. That's absolutely true. And in addition to that, we're also, as the second PDF download you get in this course, we're going to give you submission templates, email submission templates, meaning that you just literally have to plug in your information, your links, your information about yourself as an artist. And then you can literally use our templates to reach out to these uh, sync agents because they are not looking for a full biography or a full book of your life. You know, people have limited time in their day, but there is a very uh, specific way that you can uh, be respectful of their time, but also drive home the point that you're, you're something special. Your music has something to say. You have a, a really interesting story, a very captivating story, and, and just a way to basically quickly get them to understand who you are as an artist, to get, to, to get them to listen to your music very quickly. We've done all that thinking for you. So you really have the list of people to send your music and the template for how to craft that email. So literally we're taking care of those two things for you. Yes, you're gonna to have to plug in your own information and yes, you're gonna to have to upload your own tracks. But I know if you're watching this video, you guys are well aware and willing to do at least that little bit of work. But we really wanna make sure we set you guys right. up for success to partner with these um, sync agents. Now, on top of what Mark was saying there, you do need to know how to protect your rights and to look out for how would you know if a deal is fair, unfair, what's unethical, what's what's a scam, right? How would you determine what kind of a deal you're getting offered is worth going for versus what are some of those red flags that somebody might offer you that you should probably steer clear of and are just not necessary, uh, including people charging you a monthly fee to shop your music, which is usually one of the biggest red flags you can find. So we also have an entire chat between Mark and I where we are talking about how to look out for those potential red flags that can really screw you over, that can really uh, rob you of, of income. They can basically have your music sit on the shelf for years and years and years and be doing nothing but collecting dust on somebody else's hard drive. You don't want to be in that position. You deserve better than that. You've put in way too much work into your music to be in that kind of a terrible position. So one of those videos, you're going to learn all about that. And then I have another uh, set of videos where actually... If you guys weren't aware, you do need to provide what they call our deliverables or final assets to a sync agent. So that means you can't just send them your full version of the song. Sometimes the full version of the song can get placed and you can obviously get a royalty and get an upfront sync fee from that. But a lot of times they're going to want stems or alt mixes. Alt mixes are just alternative versions of the main mix. So maybe there's one without any vocals. If you're singing on your track, that one's the instrumental version. Maybe you have another version where it's just the vocals. That's the acapella version, et cetera, et cetera. There's all different types of those. So I'm going to walk you through exactly in my logic session how I create them um, so that you know how to deliver those assets for a sync agent when they need them. Also, we're going to talk about metadata. Metadata, Mark can talk a little bit about that as well. Metadata is either the make or break for your entire career as a sync licensing artist. If you don't have metadata, you are not getting a placement. So I'm going to show you exactly how I input metadata for my music and send it off to the partners that I distribute my music with. So, Mark, do you have any more uh, further thoughts on either uh, protecting people's rights or those uh, sort of final deliverable assets? Yes, Jesse. The things that I look for as a sync agent that are essential for me to get from a musician when they're submitting music to me are first of all you need to know what the right situation is with the songwriters that you partner with if you partner with songwriters so uh things like making sure that you've worked out your splits before you submit your music it sounds like a simple thing but a lot of people don't do it and if we find out after the fact then we can't use your music that's super important so that's something that you know, we're going to cover in more detail along with other ways of protecting and securing and confirming your rights. That's number one. Number two, you need to make sure that you've got your music at whatever you submit has to be properly mixed. It has to be high quality. That's number two. Number three, and this is where uh, what Jesse said comes in and is so important. You need to make sure that you've got, of course, the original version of the song, but you also have to make sure that you have ready the stems and um, instrumentals if we need it. And also, you might want to think about being ready to do a 30 second version, a 60 second version, because a lot of advertising agencies will come back to you and say, OK, we need to do a 30 second remix because we want to tempt this into a uh, commercial that we're showing around to people to see if they want to use the music. So that's really important. And last, let's talk about 
metadata. Metadata is incredibly important. And this is something I talk about almost every time I talk to people about our industry. If you don't give us the information of, you know, what the uh, name of the track is, what your name is, um, what are the uh, writers of the song? Who is the performance rights organization, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, or an international agency? If you have a label or a publisher, who are they? And most important, outside of all of this, you've got to give your contact information, an email, and a uh, phone number. And I know this sounds so, so basic, but when it comes down to it, a lot of people will send me music and you know i get probably 400 emails a day and in the 400 emails i get inevitably i've got somebody sending me music and the actual piece of music says track one or remix or something like that with no data whatsoever to go alongside it and that is just a recipe for failure in this industry so you've got to get your metadata right i can't stress that enough and we're gonna help you through this course to figure out the way to do that and do it in an efficient way. Absolutely. I remember one time somebody gave me the best advice. They say, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And it's absolutely true. <clears throat> if right. you can create these alt mixes, have these stems ready, have your metadata ready before mm -hmm. anybody asks for it, that means that your track bumps to the top of the list because these assets and deliverables are already ready to go. So you don't have to you know, maybe call up your engineer and have them create these alternate versions or you yourself go into your home studio and do this kind of stuff. If you have these things done by the time you finish up your, your music or your album, they're all ready to go and you are ready. And when that placement opportunity comes in, you're already prepared. And that's who sync agents like to work with. Artists that are professional, that are prepared, that are treating their careers as seriously as the sync agent treats his or her career, right? Making sure that everybody's staying professional, okay? So, and then last but not least, I do have a bonus video that'll show you how to create your own artist website if you don't have one. I know most of you guys maybe have one, but there's a lot of artists, bands, singer, songwriters out there that are still just throwing their music up on SoundCloud or they're just still throwing their music up on a social media platform. Nothing wrong with that. My personal philosophy is that when you have your own website first of all you can control the branding right because you get to design it you can create the colors you can create the font you can put your picture up there and it's a first impression sort of a thing when somebody when you first meet somebody you first go to their website it says something that somebody took the time and energy to create their own website that they actually have their own presentation there okay and in this free tutorial i walk you through how to do it step by step it's less than an hour and actually, believe it or not, artificial intelligence does most of the designing for you with this program that I'm giving you guys. So you don't have to even be a design wizard to really understand how to do it. It actually takes care of all that heavy, heavy lifting for you. You just have to type in the data, your name or your band name, a little bit of your bio, and then it'll show you actually how to start uploading your music as well. To me, it's like going to a job interview with a tie and a suit on. It just makes a little bit better of an impression when a sync agent clicks on a link and it goes to your nice professionally designed website as opposed to just clicking on it and going to SoundCloud, something else. I'm not saying they will say no to you just because you have a SoundCloud account, but again, suit and tie versus just wearing a t-shirt. What, who do you want to be? What kind of an impression do you want to make on the people that you're submitting your music to? Okay. So that's going to be there. Now, the important part about, you know, one of the main reasons why we did create this course, as I said in the beginning of this video, there are a lot of unethical middlemen shark people and companies out there that prey upon your naivety, that you don't know how to get started in this business, that you don't know that you can directly partner with a sync agent or a music library or somebody that can get you placements. The fact that you're not aware of that is what people are preying upon. And when they try to sell you these services to say, yeah, we'll shop your music. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do that. And they're charging you these monthly or annual fees. They're doing that because you didn't go through a course like this. Because if you had gone through a course like this, you never would have signed up with a company like that. And so one of the big things that Mark and I wanted to do was to do this as sort of like a PSA, a public service announcement, a public service project, essentially, for those of you that are brand new to sync licensing, don't know anything about it, to just be educated on a minimal level to understand you don't have to sign up with a lot of these middleman services out there that are charging you and promising you placements. You don't need to go that route. You can go directly to the people that can partner with you that are going to be a fan of your music that really want to believe in your in your career. Anyways, Mark, I want to get your thoughts on that, too. I think one of the first things that I want to say to everybody is that no sync agent can guarantee that you're going to get your music placed. That's just not the way that the industry works. And anybody who says that to you is not telling you the truth. The real deal here is that 
what a good sync agent does is they work with you as a partner to place your music and to help you to position yourself in the best way possible so that you can get your music placed. And what that comes down to is they work with you to handle business and promotional aspects of what you're doing. And they work with you as a partner, not like I said, as a partner, not as a predator. So, you know, I think it's so important for people because I have artists come to me all the time, Jesse, and who are friends of mine who will say to me, Mark, what do you think of this deal? This person, and I look at like the first two lines, and I just say, please burn this paper if it's, um, you know, or delete it, put it in your trash, whatever, just get rid of it because there's no value to you in this. And that said, though, you know, if you navigate correctly, if you go to the right sources, there are a lot of good, legitimate people who can be your partners. And that's really, that's why I've partnered with Jesse on this. I mean, really, I think about it. The reason that I got into this business, at least part, uh, in large part, was because I was having a conversation with a friend of mine who's a singer, songwriter, musician. And uh, he was, we were talking about, um, a song that he had had that was a hit and uh, that he'd never made any money from it in terms of licensing because he signed everything away to the label years ago and um, how that really obviously affected his bottom line. And I thought, you know what, there's a better way that we can do things. We can position people. We can give people resources. We can help them to legitimately partner with somebody who can be their advocate. And then everybody can basically, you know, generate revenue, make money, be successful together, rather than, you know, people uh, being given false hope. And I think that that's the last thing I want to see with people. I want people to get a realistic view of how this industry works. And I want them to get a realistic view of what resources are available for them. And that's really why, you know, I've partnered with Jesse on this course so that we can provide you with real information that you can use that can help you to get partnered up with people who can connect your music to projects and help you to build your career in sync and be successful. I couldn't have said it better myself. And even though we are giving you guys the complete A to Z roadmap for how to do well in this business, that doesn't mean we're doing the work for you. You do have to do some work. You do have to put yourself out mm -hmm. there. You do have to submit your music to sync agents and you do have to partner with people that really believe in you and are gonna actually be your advocate and pitch your music out there to the sync licensing business. So if you think we're gonna be handing you a career, yes, this is not the course for you. X out of the video, you should go do nope. something else. Uh, no, if anybody's telling you that, it's as simple as, oh, just pay me my monthly fee and you got a sync licensing career, give me a break. That means that anybody could just click a couple buttons, pay some money and they got a sync licensing career. You guys are smarter than that. You know that's not how it works. It takes effort, it takes consistency and it obviously does take you getting educated about how to make sure you steer clear of these pitfalls and these problems that can come your way in this business. But at the end of it though, you know, as somebody who's been doing this 12 years, I can't say great enough things about this side of the business. It's a glorious, wonderful industry to be a part of. Be able to say I make my full-time yep. income from music is a beautiful, wonderful thing to be able to do. I'm very thankful for the partners that I've partnered with. I'm thankful for Mark here for sharing his years and years and years of, of uh, wisdom and experience in this business. And you guys are very lucky that you have these resources because Lord knows I didn't have this when I got started 12 years ago. I know Mark knew there was nothing out here, nothing like this when he started Sync Summit and all of his endeavors that he's been a part of. So this is kind of like groundbreaking stuff, guys. You don't see this stuff really out there that often. And if you do, you might actually see a large dollar bill attachment to it in form of an online course that there's a lot of money you gotta pay to learn this stuff. You get to cross all that off today. And as long as you just enroll in this free course, you're gonna have all this stuff in your back pocket and at your fingertips anytime you'd like to. You can binge the entire eight videos. You can do them one day at a time. You learn at your own pace. You download those uh, digital downloads. You get that sync agent directory and those email submission templates, and they are yours forever. You get, and when you're ready to pitch your music to a supervisor, or uh, sorry, rather an agent, you go ahead and pitch that when you're ready to do so. It's obviously on your own time, at your own tempo, at your pace, whenever you'd like to, okay? With that being said, guys, make sure you do click on the link below. It's either a button or in the description box of this video. All you gotta do is give an email address. Put in the best email address for yourself. We will instantly send you the link to this course to access it 100% free and 100% immediately, right after you uh, click that button. So get started on this today. Do not wait, don't put this off. You do need to get educated about the side of the business. And my hope and Mark's hope is that you use this information 
and get results. Get partnered with a sync agent and get that first placement. It's a beautiful feeling when you know that your track just got featured in on, on a TV show, a commercial, something that was seen by millions of people, sometimes in the, in the US, but sometimes all over the world. The wonderful, magical I have feeling. I love getting those uh, success stories from my students when they tell me they just got a first placement. You're gonna you're gonna look back on the day that you got that placement as sort of like your breaking uh, period for your sync licensing career. And I hope, and I know Mark hopes that we can play a small part in that with this absolutely free course. So make sure you guys click on that link below.